so big this time, what do you think? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> I don't even know about it if it is. I think it's just the same thing I did before. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> What are we going to do? How long is it since we were last in London? About a year. About a year. What's the light bulb for? What's the light bulb for? Uh -huh. I thought uh, you would ask me that. No, I, I usually carry a light bulb. Some, somebody gave it to me, you know? Uh, what? Sorry, I didn't quite catch the answer. So, somebody gave it to me, a very affectionate friend. I see. Is a... Who, am I folk? Yeah. No, 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 not me, I'm not folk. What is your real message? My real message? <laughs> <laughs> Keep a good head and always carry a light bulb. <laughs> well, I plugged it in my socket and the house exploded. Do you think that a lot of the young people who buy your records well, they understand a single word of what you're thinking? Sure. You reckon they do? Sure. <laughs> why, do you, why do you say they do? How can you be so sure? Well, they're quite complicated songs, aren't they? Yeah, but they, 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 they understand them. How do you know they understand them? Have they told you that they do? They told me. Haven't you ever heard that song? Um, she said so. <laughs> what did he say? Do you think that uh, do you think, do you think that they understand you because they can't see you? Uh, would you say that you cared about people particularly? Well, yeah, but, but you know, I mean, we all have our own definitions of all those words. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Care and people no, and... Uh, well, we surely, I mean, we know what people are. Well, uh, do we? <laughs> you sound angry in your songs. I mean, are you protesting against certain things that you, you, you're, you're angry about? I'm not angry. I'm delightful, sort of. Person. I see. I, I... Thank you very much. Okay. Do you ever read the Bible? What about the Bible? Do you ever read the Bible? Um, yes, no. Have you ever read it? Have I ever? I have. I have. I have. Glance through it. Because you see a lot of the things you say. I've, I've glanced through it. I, I haven't really. Oh, put your hands up to your face. <laughs> like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, what nice about a saying to him? I said. <laughs> I can't pose. No, you don't, no but you, don't, you don't have to pose, but you just, just do it. And I'll shoot. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> huh? I can't do it. No, that's great. 
<laughs> we publish these things, you know. Don't shake you, you know. What's your name, please? Joan Mars. Joan? B A E Z. Oh, truth. Mm. I didn't recognize you. I'm sorry. Good. <laughs> nice to see you. I've been looking for you all day. <laughs> well, well, this is a part. This is a part where, where I don't write. Uh, I don't. You know, I, I'm not gonna. Anything that happens now, I'll just remember. You know. But but as when I'm living you know, my own thing and doing doing what I do, there are, you know, this yeah. this is well, this is never around me. I mean, I accept everything. I accept this. You know, I'll accept it. I'll, well, because it's here, it's real. It could exist, you know, just as much as, uh, you know, just as much as uh, the buses outside exist. I mean, I can't turn myself off to, to it because it's, uh, you know, if I try to fight it, you know, I'm just going to end up going insane faster than I eventually will go insane. You know, if I do go insane, when and if time comes for me to go insane. Puffing, puffing heavily on a cigarette, he smokes 80 a day. I'm glad I'm not me. Sally, don't tell the secret. Sally, don't tell your secret. Roses, they can't hurt you. Roses, they can't hurt you. You know that song, Sally? Yeah, like <laughs> Donovan, who's this Donovan? <laughs> Let's put him right on the sidewalk. Look at him. He's a good guy, actually. I like to meet him. He's a, he's a young Scottish bloke. Mm. That's, that's how I was going to say that, but I didn't know if you would understand. Oh, yeah. Bloke. Yeah. Okay. Bloke. Bloke. Young bloke. Anyway, he's, 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 yeah, uh, bloke. He was singing a uh, bit of folk music, and he's been around, and he plays very good guitar. He's a very good guitar player. He's better than you. Yeah. All right? Right away, I hate him. <laughs> he's all right. I like him anyway. He's not a fake. Yeah. He's oh. all right. Well, I got him up on the wall, you know. Anybody on where, the wall? Where, where, where? He's right there. Yeah, is Donovan deserting his fans? He's only been around for three months. <laughs> well, that's what I call a loser. <laughs> Short time, that's America. We're no, talking not about short time, the 26 years. No, it's when did uh, Abrams say uh, that uh, all were equal and all that? You know, when, when was it? That was, yeah, that was 200 years ago. That's yeah, what well, well, he said that. I'm talking, he? but he said it, but he never does. Well, he never does. He started working 26 years ago. We don't have. Where are we going now? CBS or what? <laughs> He's not with us. He's not with us. We're all thin. Oh, he's not. He's not I've got an award for him for the most um, uh, promising artist of the year and the best selling folk record, three wheeling. No, no, just, I just don't want them. Just it, never mail them to you? I don't even want to see them. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tell him to give it to Donovan. <laughs> This is for the African service of the BDC, Mr. Boone, uh, where it's African listeners, and it's going out this evening. And the questions are four in number for your approval before we ask them. Uh, the first one's a very general, journalistic one. Just how did it all begin for you? What started you off? What triggered it off? 
Just how do you see the art of the folk song in contemporary society? Has it a very real social impact? Something that will certainly interest our listeners in Africa, Bob, is your deeply humanitarian attitude to a number of public matters. For instance, you're quoted as saying people talk about Negroes as if they were objects. Now, does this sort of compassion on your part present any problems for you in America? Okay. Oh, by the way, you took part in a play in Britain some time ago, written by a school friend of mine, Evan Jones. Oh, yeah. Evan and I went to school yeah. in Jamaica together. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the, the Castle Street, wasn't it? The, the Mad yeah, thing. Madhouse of Castle Street. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> going ahead in about, say, five seconds from now, with this interview with Mr. Bob Dylan for the African service of BBC, Pete Myers and Colin Wilde producing in approximately five seconds. How did it all begin for you, Bob? What actually started you off? Um. From the poverty shack, he looks from the track to the track. And the beat pound in his brain. And he called how to walk in a pack. Shoot in the back with his fist in a clip. To hang in to lift. With his head and knees and hood. To deal with no pain, like a dog on a chain. He ain't got no name, but it ain't him to blame. He's only a pawn in their game. The dame Edgar Rivers was buried from the bullet he caught. He is not so much singing as sermonizing. Colin, his tragedy, perhaps, is that the audience is preoccupied with song. Paragraph. So the bearded boys and the lank-haired girls, all eye shadow and undertaker makeup, applaud the songs and miss, perhaps, the sermons. 
They are there, colon. They are with it. Sentence. But how remote they really are from sit-ins and strikes and scabs and life. Paragraph. The times, they are a-changing, sings Dylan. They are when a poet and not a pop singer fills a hall. Are you aware of the fact that tonight at the City Hall here, you had a greater audience than uh, has been seen there for many years? And the uh, more appreciation has been heard there. The, the applause was fantastic. I never heard so much applause there. I've been coming here for quite a while. Uh, that makes me feel good, you know. Uh, that makes me feel good. Are you religious? Ah, well, I don't know. What does that mean, you know, religious? What does that mean? Do you mean you bow down to an idol or, or, or go to church every Sunday or no, that kind of no, stuff? No, no. Believe in something. Do you believe in... I don't believe in anything. No, why should I believe in anything? I don't, uh, I don't see anything to believe in. You think you, you're cynical? No, I'm not cynical. I just don't, you know, I can't see anything anybody's offered me to believe that I'm going to believe, put all my trust and faith in everything. Nothing is sacred. Right? Who is in charge? Oh, charge of what? Who is in charge of this room? What do you mean in charge of this room? It's rented to Bob Dylan. What do you mean who's in charge what? of it? Are you a Bob Dylan manager? Yes, I'm Bob Dylan manager. Yes. But I'm not in charge of his room. No, you're in charge of Bob Dylan. No, I'm not in charge we of Bob Dylan. We have had complaints about the noise above, below. Oh, that's unfortunate. We'll try to hold it down. And if what it noise? isn't organized within five noise? minutes, I will ask you to leave. Well, why don't you get a constable, would you please? I will. Please do that. There's been no noise in this room. No, no. And you're one of the dumbest assholes and most stupid person I've ever spoken to. Mr. Walker, get it. And for some place else, I'd punch you in your goddamn nose. You stupid nut. Would you, we've rented this room, and I'm asking you to leave this room. We have valuables in here, and I don't want you in here. Look, don't you adult that out too much. Would you get out of this room? You get out of this room also. Don't care about your fop manager. As soon as we get clear of the town, we'll stop. There's one in there. Shall I read it out? Yeah. American folk singer Bob Dylan sat scowling in a hotel armchair last night. In his hands was an iris. Bob, who arrived 90 minutes before his British tour was to open at Sheffield City Hall, said he wanted to rest. Asked to pose quickly for a relaxing picture, he seized a flower from a vase in the room and said, this is how I like to relax. I've been through all this in the States. The harsh, rasping, haranguing voice of self-styled self -styled guitar strumming poet Dylan started off his show with the times they are a-changing. They certainly are. This swears my 17-year-old son is what the kids who used to scream at the Beatles now go for. And if Dylan is a trend, not just a cult, parents need not be quite so condescending. His tour opening at the 2,700-seat hall was a sellout, but without one single scream and with every rapt attention to every word, it was very impressive. Al Dylan, alone with his guitar and mouth organ for an hour and a half, earned himself more than 2,000 pounds and a foot-stamping ovation. That's all. You'll be staying tonight. Where? Um, near the, near the theater. In the hotel? You stay in the hotel? Don't be personal. <laughs> hey! Is that him? No. Oh! Oh, hell! Oh, oh it's really lovely. Oh, it can't be right in there. Pinch me, pinch me. Come down. Oh. oh, my dreams come true. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to sing Times They Are Changing? You want me to sing that, huh? Oh. Do you really like that song? Yeah, it's fantastic. What do you like about it? I, I, just, I don't like any of the um, subterranean homes of blues. So. Oh, you're, you're that kind of... Okay, I understand right now. It's, it's, um, it's well, not you. Um, it doesn't sound like yeah. you at all. It sounds oh. like oh. you're laughing at me. My friends were playing with me on it, so... You know, I have to give some work to my friends, you know. I mean, you don't mind that, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? You don't mind them playing with me if they play the guitar and drums and all that kind of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. it, it just doesn't sound like you at all. It sounds like you're having a good old laugh. Mm -hmm. Well, don't you like me to have a good old laugh? Yeah. Yes. Isn't yeah. that all right Some with you? Some people might take you seriously and think yeah. well, you're I don't, commercialized. I, I don't care. You know it different, though, right? Yeah. yeah. As long as you know, you don't have to worry about anybody else. All the old people take care of themselves. Got any brothers and sisters? Huh? Have you any brothers and sisters? God, I don't even know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I have lots of brothers and sisters. Lots. Of I've got a little sister. She's mad on you. <laughs> Is this called Mercy Side? Baltimore Hotel Society gathering and the cops were called in and his weapon took from him as they rode him in custody down to the station and booked William Zanzinger for first degree murder and you who philosophize disgrace and criticize all fears take the rag away from your face now ain't the time for your tears. <laughs> William Zanzinger, who at just 24 years owns a tobacco farm of 600 acres with rich, wealthy parents who provide and protect him and high office relations in the politics of Maryland reacted to his deed with a shrug of his shoulders and swear words and sneering in his tongue it was snarling and in a matter of minutes on bail was out walking and you who philosophize disgrace and criticize all fears take the rig away from your face now ain't the time for your tears Patty Carroll was a maid in the kitchen She was 51 years old and gave birth to ten children who cleaned up the dishes and hauled out the garbage and never sat once at the head of the table and didn't even speak to the people at the table who just cleaned up all the food from the table and emptied the ashtrays on a whole other level got killed by a blow lay slain by a cane that sailed through the air and came down through the room 
doomed and determined to destroy all the gentle And she never done nothing to Williams and Singer And you who philosophize disgrace And criticize all fears Take the rag away from your face Now ain't the time for your tears We do uh, all about 20, 30 of your numbers, you know. Oh, really? Yeah. We, give them, we give them all a big bandstand, you know. You, you probably wouldn't know. You think we're ruining your normal table, but no, we're doing it because it, that, we're doing it because, it's, because it's, it's we're so great idols movies. of you, you know. No, I said, thank you. It's, it's the we always try. Are you playing around anywhere? Yeah. When we play anywhere, we try and tell them it's the words they ought to listen to and not the. You, you play with the rhythm guitar and electric guitar yeah, too. Yeah, we play electric guitar. We find it's very difficult to get people to listen um, to words. Though all they want to do is just listen to. Hanging that nasty, you know, I give it to them. I, I don't really. I don't, it's beyond me. You know, I, I don't. I don't I just go out there and sing them, you know, and if, if the people were, you know, if I was booked to play, I'd just go out there and sing them. And I was, I was trying to, I'm gonna try to get anybody to listen. Step over my legs! Hey, 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 hey! Step over my legs! Hey, 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 hey! 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 Watch out, watch out. Hey, there's chickens. Get chickens out in the back of the cars. There's a guy on our car. We get him off. Get the chicken. Stick her. Stop, Bobby. Bobby, hey, Bobby, tell the guy to stop. Those she's she's going to get hurt. It's a chick. It's a girl. Take that girl off our car, please. Will you please take her off the car? You got to get her off. Hey, will you get that girl off our car? Oh, she's off. She's off. Oh, All right, how you, okay, how you doing? <laughs> we'll see you later, man. <laughs> Bye. Bad news, bad news came to where I sleep. Turn, turn, turn again. Sing one of Turn, turn to the rain. 
This room hasn't been full of a bunch of insane <laughs> lunatics, man, and I can remember it. Night, man. Bobby, it was almost so nice, you don't know. Wow. Yeah, it's the first time. It's been cool around here. Oh, God. I'm sleepy. I mean, I'm fagging out. Huh? Let me tell you, sister, you have fagged out a long time ago. Sure as Cyrus. You, you fagged out before you even thought you were fagging out. Oh, my God. There she is, fang. <laughs> fanging. the... You have one of those. You have one of those see-through blouses. She has one of those see-through blouses that you don't even want to. <laughs> That's fang by ass. You wouldn't hurt his guitar, would you? <laughs> oh, pardon me. I didn't mean to hurt your turtle. God. Thank you. 
Do you have some more paper I can give you? The, I can write out these things here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Did you have to make it? the most of that. Really? You don't have any more? Grab that. Mm -hmm. You're right. expecting it all to get ripped out of that all paper. These right? songs around. To write small or something. You understand your orphan with his gun. Crying like a banana in the sun. Finish this. How far do you think we can push them? I tell you, as far as Granada goes, uh, they were talking 12, 1,300 pounds. There's 1,500 there. You you know, think, I know. You don't think we can do better? Huh? Possibly, yeah. yeah. But I know that, like, he's talking 12, 13. When we ask for 2,000? Well, I had that figure in mind, strangely <laughs> enough. <laughs> you get it settled. Great. Why don't we, why don't we see and I'll get an answer from... Right. Let's you know, why don't you just tell him that I have to present it to Bob before we can give him a final answer, but we'll give it to him by tomorrow. Fine. At Johnny Ham Granada. And the other one was really fusion, but they're the same as uh, Johnny Ham, please, urgently, wherever he's tracking down there. Um, Johnny Ham is in the studio. His secretary said if she could have some idea what it's about, she might be able to get him to the phone. Just say Bob Dylan, he'll be there in a the shot. Okay. Two grand, Johnny. Yeah, on the exclusive. And it would be very much exclusive. He wouldn't, he's not going to do anything else. Yeah. You want to leave that with you, John? Hello? Hello. Yes. Uh, this is Chris Breeze, Stuart's PA. Yes, Chris. He's not, uh, he's not, you know, available at the moment. He's a bit tied up down in the theatre. Can I help? Well, I think he might untie himself. Would you tell him this is the call he was expecting regarding Bob Dylan? Bob Dylan? Yes. OK, well, you know, uh, when I say he's tied up, I really mean it. You know, I'm not kidding. I know he's with, with, with rope, right? No, look, we've got another <laughs> show on in the theatre here, though. Don't know, get upset, don't get upset. I'm only kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Will you tell him, Chris, yeah. that I have uh, Mr. Grossman with me, uh, Bob's manager, Albert Grossman's with yeah. me now. Okay. Okay. Bye. How about that? <laughs> Thinks I'm putting him on. What do you think, Stuart? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, dear. That for the two. Mm. No, or not bad for me. I'll take it for a week's work, I don't mind. <laughs> um, Stuart, look, shall I just check this out now with Albert and, and sit down then to save you hanging on, and then give you a call back? God bless you. 1250 probably could stretch into 1500. Yeah. So uh, I figured this, you know, the BBC. Uh, Maybe I, I, one I, show, but not for two. No. I, I had a feeling that Granada would come up with the best one, because they have done in the past. I remember what they offered Peter Paul and Mary for two shows, BBC? Right. This number two. This seems yeah. to be their, their top. But I mean, I think we really. Uh, you, if you get him back, why don't you leave me uh, take a crack at him on the phone? Pleasure. Because I, because he last day he called me in the states, you know. Because Stuart or Johnny? No, Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> All right. Listen, Stuart. I've got Mr. Grossman for you. Will you hold on a second. I believe I spoke to you in New York, didn't I? Uh, what's the number. Yeah. And. Uh, at that time, I, I indicated uh, 
the kind of money that we were looking for for, for Bob, and I assumed that when Tito told me that you were interested, that we were somewhere in that vicinity, and it, it, I was, you know, personally kind of, you know, surprised at the, you know, nature of the offer. And all, as much as we'd like to do show for BBC, I, I think we can't consider it at that money, because it doesn't come anywhere near the other offers that we have. Okay, well, the minimum that I would consider would be uh, the fee that you mentioned for each half hour. No, 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 I wouldn't. Twelve fifty for each half hour. Well, uh, thank you very much. Bye. He said he'll put it to them, but it's almost certain it'll be. It'll be no. But I think he's going to come back with 2,000 of that. Then we know. Then we know better off. We're still, we're still better off than only one show. Are we, Amber? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know myself. Hmm. And I don't. Can we, without uh, acting in bad taste, can we get Johnny Hamp back on the on the phone and uh, tell him it looks like we have a better offer from? Uh, I'll tell him. No? Oh, Albert, if I may, yeah. if you go along with me, because I know Johnny, and Johnny's a good guy. In other words, Johnny is not about to save their money. You know... I know, uh, we only asked Carter. for two. He's certainly not going to come back with more than that. I mean, yeah, he's certainly I not going to come back and say, we'd like to give you a little more than you asked for. Well, what we can do is this. If you want to hold on, Johnny will be back in the morning. Okay. If he comes up with a two, and if okay. they've turned around at the end and said, you know, forget it, we never got... If they come up with a two, I say, look, Johnny, as your friend, and because Albert wants to do it with you, we're telling you, we're not saying no to you and doing the other one. We're going to tell you straight what happened. We were ready to do yours if you came back with two, but then the BBC got raving mad and came up with two, so you've got to top it. Albert, um, Albert Stewart, uh, I'll be with Albert in a few moments, and uh, I'll put it to him, and, uh, uh, you know, I'm sure he'll come up with decisions, you know, very quickly. Well, now, uh, uh, Stuart, let me tell you. Yeah, now, let me tell you something, Stuart, between you and I. Um, very truthfully, as you know, um, all, like, two months ago, Granada came on when they heard he was coming. And you know them, they, they pay, you know, uh, what, they pay for the taxi as well, if you know what I mean. Uh, and they've been on there hammering away like mad. So, uh, Albert does have a pretty tough decision in a way. Yeah, but have you seen today's chart? Dylan, number six, subterranean homesick blues. Yeah, jump from like 45 or something to six. Yeah. I'll be with Albert within 10 minutes or so. This one right there. Do you believe that guitar? <laughs> they don't have those guitars in the States, man. <laughs>
comes. Do you think it would bother me one little bit if you dislike me? Uh, uh, no, but like there's some people in my family. Situated. Well, what about before you had any friends? Did you were you worried then? Well, I was all worried. I wasn't worried about it. No, I was lucky. Then. Weren't you? I think I've got well, very few you friends lucky now. When you didn't have any friends? I can't remember not having any friends. Huh? Really? Now do you have a lot of friends? No, now? because because um, I reached a stage when I suddenly realised what a friend was, and then I probably had one or two. Before that, I didn't understand what a friend was anyway. Did you talk to your friends? I didn't know who they were then. Well, do you now know your friends? Do you so talk I talk to your them. friends? Then? Yeah. There are one or two people who I believe I can talk to. You, you, that's why you're your friend. They're your friends because you can talk to them. Um, yeah, I think a friend is a friend you because can you communicate with them. Uh, to a certain extent, they yeah. can understand me more than anybody else. Oh well, yeah, that's why we see we differ. We differ. We come from two different worlds. You come from England. I come from the United States. Yeah, it's true. It's true. But I mean, we're still human beings, so there's some sort of uh, connection between us. Man, you're trying to knock me. I <laughs> believe me, I never try to do that. I mean, what, I mean, when somebody comes into an interview, you know, what's your attitude? Oh, you just read those interviews that were a couple of the first few days I was here. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, those weren't right. You know, you know, you know that, right? You know that that was all lies, L well, I lies don't know. and rubbish. I got, I you know that. The first, first few lines and didn't read much more. Why I came here, I don't know. Being regaled with all this. Are you going to the concert? Yeah, I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch. I mean, I, this is well, what listen. I well, this is what I came to see most. Okay, just listen. I came to see you, but I thought I'd like to come over you first. I mean, what, what is your whole attitude to life? And when you meet somebody, what is your attitude towards them? I don't what? like them. You don't? No. no. <laughs> I mean, if I, I come in here, what's your attitude towards me? No, I have an attitude towards you at all. Why should I have an attitude towards? I don't even know you. No, but I mean, and it'd be an attitude if you wanted to know me or didn't want to know me. Well, why should I want to know you? I don't know. And that's what I'm asking. Well, I don't know, eh? <laughs> Ask me another question. <laughs> Just give me a reason why I should want to know you. Um, I might be worth knowing. Why? Huh? Why? <laughs> Tell me why. What good is it going to be for me to know you? Tell me. Give me, name me one thing I'm going to gain. Well, you might learn something from my attitude to life. Well, what is your attitude to life? Huh? I can't explain that in two minutes. Well, who are you asking me to explain in <laughs> huh? two minutes? That's all you're getting is two minutes. You're asking me to explain something in two minutes, too. But you're the artist. You're supposed to be able to explain it in two minutes. I am? Yeah. Hey, wow. <laughs> what about you? Aren't you an artist? Oh, no. What are you? I don't know. What? what are you? I'm a science student. Well, let's hear it again. What are you? A uh, what student? A science student. Now, what does that mean? Now, just what does that mean? Hmm? What does that mean? What do you do? What's your purpose in the world? Um, what's my purpose? Yeah. What's my purpose? How do you help? You know, what do you do in the world? Well, I'm, uh, I'm in the world for me, I guess. Well, like everybody else. Just like me. Yeah. Yeah. So we're just alike, aren't we? I guess so. We don't so. come from two different worlds. No, we both we're, come we're, from uh, uh, Prussia. Yeah. You were wrong. You were wrong. I was right all the time. No, but this, I mean, this is interesting. I mean, I go, I go to um, interview to groups. If I go to interview Alan and Smoke, I don't think they're, they, they couldn't care less about me, you know. Well, you know, why don't you, you know, well, haven't you ever stopped to wonder why? Um. <laughs> <laughs> There's got to be some reason, doesn't there? I mean, yeah, it happen. yeah, they, but it's nothing to do with me because they don't want to know me before I go in. Huh? Well, before what, I go in, they don't know me. They don't you want... Can you write them up in your paper? That's not, what, what's that? No, I don't, I, I, I don't think of myself as a necessarily well, journalist. Are you going to some science? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a person, you know. Well, so what? There's a million, thousand, billion, there's so many persons outside. Yeah, I agree, absolutely. Well, you can't know them all, can you? No, no. But uh, if I meet somebody and uh, I speak to them for a few minutes, I think that guy might be able to give me something. Well, then, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Everyone is out for what they can get. Well, I might be able to get, um, might be able to get something material. You might be able to get a chick. Huh? You might be able to get a chick. Maybe able to come in. Here. What do you think, chick? I'll take one You got it. I'll take one hit. I'll take one hit. I can't play the thing. And we don't want it either. Oh, I can't play it.
you know, they may be able to give me something material, but I'm not necessarily interested. Well, what are they going to give you spiritually? Um, oh, I might learn something. Too. What? Huh? What don't you know that you want okay. to know? Okay, you're going to get a kick out of the interview with people. Yeah. Well, I won't know if I don't try to find out. Well, what will you try? Huh? Don't you... When, are, did you ever just be quiet? Just be silent? <laughs> and just yeah. watch and well, don't say one word? Yeah, the, the whole thing that, that gets me about about you and about about Alan is the fact that you're knocking from the minute I come in. Knocking? Yeah, you're not. Well, I don't think you know when you're like. That's all. If we, you know, if we, if we, if we want to knock you, we could put you on. Yeah, but I mean, he's he's just said that I'm talking a lot of rubbish, you know. And, uh, well, and I what I said, said that you misquoted me already. See, that's another gym. I know. I didn't misquote you. I interpreted you. You interpreted him to to your own to your own thing, right? Your own, uh, your own, your own rules of, uh, your own images. Try to give some answer. Why? Hmm? <laughs> Why do you have to give some answer? Well, to satisfy you. You don't have to satisfy me. You don't have to give Besides, it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you said you didn't want an answer, I wouldn't have given one. You don't try to satisfy everybody? No. Oh. Do you ever once in a while try? Hmm? Do, you ever, do you ever once in a while try yeah, to satisfy yeah, somebody? One. Somebody, yeah, not yeah. everybody. A few people. Well, some people I can't satisfy because yeah. that's the way I'm made. Yeah. No, no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't satisfy them. Well, how do you know that? Hmm? How do you know that? Um, I can, well, uh, if you get to know somebody for a little while, you can guess just, um, are you a little are you, bit are about you, the subject. Are you still friends with them even though you can't satisfy them? Yeah. What friends, you talk about? Not, not deep friends, not no, deep friends. Not deep you, friends? You, you find what's a field a on which you can communicate. What's a deep friend and what's somebody that? Somebody that can, you, you're almost on exactly the same plane with them. Somebody and you that can, you're just you like. can communicate with them very well. Somebody that you're, you're just, just like you. Uh, not Looks just, like you. No. 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 Talks like you? Um, well, how do you even like same, somebody? What do you do? Same way. Thinks the same thinks way? Thinks the same way. Like what? Like they both think that, uh, they want their, both, both, both are happy about a green door? No, think the same language. Think in the same language. Yeah. Uh-huh. And so you can understand each other. And you know what each other uh, are thinking. Well, let's try and understand each other, shall we? That wouldn't be a bad idea. That wouldn't be a bad idea. And how are we going to set about understanding? Well, you can ask your first question. Hmm? You can ask your first question. Oh. Go ahead. Have you got a question to ask? Come on. Oh. You haven't got any questions? Well, I didn't... I think somebody's calling for you. You want me to go? Okay, I'll go. Uh, you don't have to go. No, I didn't, I didn't come in here. I mean, I don't consider myself... I mean, he thinks of me as a journalist, but I don't a journalist. Hey, man, the high sheriff's lady would like to talk to you. Who is the high sheriff's lady? Oh, 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 oh would I know? <laughs> <laughs> Do I look like Robin Hood? Ha, <laughs> we're all the high sheriff, man. Ha, <laughs> Who's the high sheriff? Oh, her name is Sarah Lee, isn't it? I don't even know. Where's this high sheriff? I think she's a big cheese. This is Jim She's next Clark. door. Yeah, she's <laughs> next door. This is Jim Clark. Yeah, that's a good one. Jim, Jim Clark is the high sheriff of Nottingham. Oh, dearie me. Can we get your boots on him? She wants to say hello to you. Who is she? Uh, Shia. Oh, the guard just told me. The high sheriff's lady. I thought you might get knocked out by the high sheriff's lady. What is it? Did I remember the sheriff's lady? And so, on behalf of all of them, I've come to say how very happy we are to have you here. And I hope you have a very successful night. Because everybody loves you. There's a thousand outside. And these are my three boys. Maggie, Stephen, and Stephen. And they think you're so marvellous that they've left all their exam papers, they've got oh. terribly important exams, <laughs> and they've left everything to come and listen to you. Oh, okay. So that I do <laughs> you'd better be good. Oh, you are good. I don't think you can help being good, but we're really very thrilled indeed to have you here. And uh, uh, if you come after May again, then I'd, I'd have you as my guest in the mansion house. So this lady will be Lord May. Oh, after May. After May. After May. After May. Well, you come back. This lady will be Lord May. And you see, yeah. I, I think the songs you sing are very wonderful. Thank you. And you write them yourself, too, yeah. don't you, sometimes? I yes. Them Have you really? Yes, because they've got feeling and they're, they're really marvellous. And uh, I really mean this. I think you're a really good example for the youth. Thank you. So that uh, if you come back again, I shall be delighted to have you both as my guests in the next house. Okay.
Oh, here it is, my friend. This is good. Oh, yes, I got something for you, too. This one. How'd you do? This one. How'd you do? Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah
Street. Yeah, this is who right. did it? This now you better right. tell me, man. If somebody don't tell me who yeah. did it, you're all gonna get the fuck out of here right. and never come right. back. I'm now who did it? I don't care yeah. who did it, man. I just wanna know who yeah. did it. I'm pissed. But I didn't do it. I was out there in the bathroom going out. Captain. Hey, I don't tell me you're pissed, man. Don't tell me you're pissed about anything when I hear I'm you're not. pissed. I'm who not. threw the glass in the street? I didn't throw the glass. Well, who did? Tell me you were there. Who threw it? You know who? All right. Hey, I don't, I don't care who did it. If you know who did it, you just better tell whoever did it to get out there and tell the cats that come up here to ask who did it, tell them who it was. I'm not taking no fucking responsibility for cats I don't know, man. I got enough responsibility with my friends and my own people. I agree. No, no, come on. I was out there. I don't care who was out there. Hey, don't, I don't want no, none, of your, none of your shit, man. You're I'm not class in the street. Shit. I'm not giving you shit. No, What'd you do it for, man? What'd you throw a glass in the street for? I didn't you? throw a glass in the street. Well, show me the person that did. If you don't have him here, no, man, I'm not going to ten. I'm not. You I'm better dry. take responsibility for All it. All right. All right, one, two, three, one, four, nine. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You got him here? No. I wouldn't. Hey, man, I'm not kidding you. You I'm think going. I'm kidding? He's going to clean up that glass, man. Or I'll clean it up. I'll That's clean up your glass, I'll man. Help you, man. I wouldn't clean him. Hey, I believe he's all right, man. I believe he's all right. Look, okay, I believe he's... Listen. Hey, no, come on, I mean, listen. Now. I've heard it a thousand times, man. Listen, I'm I know a thousand right. cats that look at you just like you, man. Talk just like you. Oh, fuck off. Well, You're a big noise, you know? Man, I know it, man. I know, I know a big you. noise. You have a bigger noise than you, man. I'm a small noise. Right. I'm a small cat. That's right. Oh, Listen, God. if I'd have thrown a... Hey, you're anything you streets. say you are, man. I'm you say nothing. you're a small... You're not, I'm I, nothing. I believe you. Nothing. I believe you, man. Boys. Listen, Boys. I'll be doing it. You know, you're a could big we have a drink over noise, here? You know? you know? Boys. Right. I'm nothing. Uh, right. I didn't throw any fucking glass in the street, man. You know, if yeah, I had... That's true. And I wanted yeah. to believe it. Well, who did, man? You know, and if you'd have yeah. wanted to, you know, that's come at me... Right. For fucking oh, glasses. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. You know, yeah. you know, yeah. I'd have had a go at you. I don't know these guys. Just tell the cat. I'll go down. I'll yeah. go down. Yeah. And just move it up. Probably. No, you don't have to. Just tell them we'll come down and do it. Be groovy. Right. Right. Yeah, either be groovy right. or leave, Jeez. man. Or, or leave. You don't have to be groovy for me. Just be groovy for anybody who you want to be groovy for. There's a gentleman here inquiring about a glass. Okay. Right. Hey, a lot of people can stay, man. Whoever did that glass. Oh, man. No, we got somebody to say. Oh, OK. We'll find out who did it. Uh, we won't find out who did it. Hey, I'm sorry about it. I used to wear a cowboy hat like Jack, right? I, I got a record of yours and Jack's. I had one called the Cowboys. The Cowboys and also uh, Ramblin boys, Ramblin', yeah. the Ramblin' Boys and the Cowboys. I, I just wanted to didn't want to equip me if you're sober. I didn't want to not hurt anybody. Huh? He doesn't want that glass to hurt anybody. Yeah, he didn't. Okay. Listen, man, why don't we get together and I'll turn you on to some things. Okay. Are there any poets like Allen Ginsberg around, man? No, no, nothing like that. Dominic Bean. 
Yeah, no, no, no. I don't want to hear nobody like Dominic yeah, Bean, man. Yeah. Dominic Bean. Dominic Bean is a friend of mine. Mm. Yeah, that's fine, man. I just don't want to hear anybody like that, though. Hey, man, that's okay. Keep he plays like Jack, sure. man. Yeah, you're like going that thing, man. When the night has left you cold and feeling sad, I will show you that it cannot be so bad. Forget the one who went and made you cry I'll sing a song for you That's what I'm here to do To sing for you <laughs> Yeah, that's a good song, yeah, man I'll sing, I'll When you feel you just can't make it anymore With your head bowed down and you're staring at the floor Search out to me with your weary eyes I'll sing a song for you That's what I'm here to do To sing for you Now every man he has his work you know To find out mine, you ain't got far to go. Just call out to me with your weary eyes. I'll sing a song for you. That's what I'm here to do. To sing for you. To sing for you. You must leave now, take what you need, you think will last. But whatever you wish to keep, you'd better. Stands your orphan with his gun, crying like a fire in the sun. Look out, the saints are coming through, and it's all over now. Rapping at your door is standing in the clothes that you once wore. Strike another match, go start anew, and it's all over now, baby. Do you want to hear it? Do you want to hear that song? Yeah, yeah. Is that the same store? What was to happen? Lauren? Please, yes. Oh, I This is the Savoy Hotel here. We're on our way in about 10 minutes with Mr. Bob Dylan. So can you sort of expect us? We're through the stage door. Okay, there's not many kids there. Okay, right. Thanks very much. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, there's very few there, apparently, so... Good day, man. Have 
been in offices all day since oh, 10 o'clock really? this morning, organising my other tour. What <laughs> the other folks are doing? Donovan, yeah, the other folks are yeah. How's that tour doing? Uh, not so good. <laughs> he says to me, what do you think if we booked a theatre in Scarborough for a Sunday concert and put um, just Donovan all on his own? I said, well, you know, I, I can't see it for two hours. You know, he said, what well, do you think we should book one other act? I said, I think you should book about four other acts. <laughs> This must be very old theater, huh? Sure. Well, it is Victoria very old. died in 1894. Queen Victoria built it for her. Dude. Finished rehearsing now, yes? Finished rehearsing. We're rehearsing, we're finished with the stage. Right, right, right. Are you going to see the concert tonight? Yes. Are you going to hear it? No. Okay, you hear and see it, and uh, it's going to happen fast, and you're not going to get it all. And you might even hear the wrong words, you know. And then afterwards, see, I, okay, I won't be able to talk to you afterwards. i got nothing to say about these things I write. I mean, I just write them. I don't have to say anything about them. I don't write them for any reason. There's no great message. I mean, if, if you know, you want to tell other people that, go ahead and tell them. But I'm not going to have to answer to it. And they're just going to think, you know, what's this Time magazine telling us? But that, you couldn't care less about that either. You don't know the people that read you. Because, uh, you know, uh, I've never been in Time magazine, and yet this hall's filled twice. You know, uh, and I've never been in Time magazine. I don't need Time magazine. And I don't think I'm a folk singer. You'll probably call me a folk singer. But, you know, the other people know better. Because the people that, you know, that, that buy my records listen to me don't necessarily read Time magazine. You know the audience that subscribe to Time magazine? The audience of, of the, the people that want to know what's happening in the world week by week. The people that work during the day and can read it. It's small, right? And it's concise. And there's pictures in it. I mean, those kind of, you know, those a certain class of people. It's a class of people that take the magazine seriously. I mean, sure, I can read it, you know, and I read it, I read it on the airplanes, but I don't take it seriously. If I want to find out anything, I'm not going to read Time magazine. I'm not going to read Newsweek. I'm not going to read any of these magazines. I mean, because they just got too much to lose by printing the truth. You know that. What kind of truths are they reading? On anything, even on a worldwide basis. They just go off the stands in a day if they printed really the truth. What is really the truth? Really the really truth is just a plain picture. Okay. Of, of, you know, a plain picture of... Uh, of, uh, uh, let's say, uh, uh, 
a, uh, you know, a tramp vomiting man into the sewer, you know, and and and, uh, and next door to the picture, uh, you know, Mr. Rockefeller or you know, Mr. Uh, C C W Jones, you know, on the subway going to work, uh, you know, any kind of picture, just just make some sort of collage of pictures, which they don't do, they don't do. There's no ideas in Time Magazine. There's just these facts. Well, you know, which two are switched because even the article on your, what you're doing, the way it's going to come out, don't you see, it can't be a good article because the guy that's writing the article is sitting in a desk in New York. He's not, he is not even going out of his office. He's just going to get all these 15, uh, you know, reporters and they're going to send him a quota, you know. No, he's going to put himself on. He's going to put all his readers on and, and, you know, and another week will be, you know, have some space in the magazine. But that's all. It means nothing to anybody else. I'm not putting that down because people have got to eat and live, you know. But uh, I mean, be, 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 at least be honest about it, you know. I mean, sure. Yeah, well, I, see, don't, see, I, don't, I don't. I, mean, I, I know more about what you do, and, and you don't even have to, have to ask me how or why or anything, uh, just by looking, you know. Then you, you'll, you'll ever know about me, ever. I mean, I could tell you, I could tell you, you know, I'm not a folk singer, and explain to you why, but you wouldn't really understand. All you could do, you, you could, could nod say, your head. You, you would could, nod you your could, head. You could be willing to try. Okay? No, I couldn't even be willing to try because it, it, it would be, it's, you know, there's certain things which, every, every word, every word has its little letter and big letter. Your friend had, had the right word, pigeonhole. No, it's not pigeonhole. No, it's not the word not at all. Important. You know, every word has its little letter and big letter, like the word no. Yeah. You know, the word no, K-N-O-W. Yeah. Okay. And you know the word no, w, uh, capital K-N-O-W? Yeah. Like, each of us really knows nothing. Right? But we all think we know things. Right. But we really know nothing. I mean, you're saying uh, you know more about what I do. No, no I'm saying, no, I'm no, saying, no, no. I'm saying that, uh, that I'm saying that you're going to die and you're, you're going to go off the earth. You're going to be dead. Man, it could be, you know, 20 years. It could be tomorrow. Any, anytime. So am I. I mean, it's going to be gone. The world's going to go on without us. Right. All right. Now, now, you do your job in the face of that and how seriously you take yourself, you, you know, you decide for yourself. Okay? Now, I'll decide for myself. Now, you're not going to make me feel unhappy by anything you print about me or anything, you know, or anything like that. I just can't, it couldn't, you know, you couldn't offend me. And I'm sure, you know, I couldn't offend you. So, uh, uh, all I can hope for you to do is, uh, you know, all your ideas in your own head, somehow, wherever they are, do you care about what you're saying? How can I answer that if you got the nerve to ask me? Well, then you, how can I mean, you got a lot of nerve asking me a question have, like that. I have to ask Do you ask the Beatles that? I have to ask you that because you have the nerve to question uh, whether I care. I'm not questioning you because I don't expect any answer from you. But do you think somebody wouldn't go see somebody that didn't want entertainment? Of course not. Who, would want, who wants to go get whipped, you know? And if you do want to go get whipped, yeah, aren't you really being entertained? All right, so fine. Uh, right? Okay, so do you think anybody that comes to see me is coming for any other reason except entertainment, really? They'll tell you they're coming for different reasons. Well, who cares what they tell you? Who cares what anybody well, tells you? Well, they think they, they think they know why they're doing it. They well, do you know why they're doing it? I know some of the things People say all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. They have to sort of weed it out. You know, can you weed it out? No, I don't. Well, you see, you, you're not going to learn, but I can't teach you how to weed it out. Yeah. Well, I didn't say that I couldn't weed it out. I said I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, I, I, I have no idea. I'm, first of all, I'm not even a pop singer. You think you have a big audience? Big I don't know. I have no idea. The audience is in some sense a pop singer. You know, I mean, even if it's Caruso, he's uh, oh, okay. appealing to a popular, you know, this is a... And he's a pop singer. Yes, I'm, yes, I'm, a good, I'm, a, I'm just as good a singer as Caruso. Have you heard me sing? Have you ever heard me sing? Oh, well, you see right there now. Right there, we have a little disagreement. I happen to be just as good as him. A good singer. You have to listen closely, <laughs> but I hit all those notes, <laughs> and I can hold my breath three times as long if I want to.
time? Except it that soon you'll be drenched to the bone If your time to you is worth saving Then you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone For the times, they are a-changing One time a crazy dream came to me I dreamt I was walking in World War III I went to the doctor the very next day to see what kind of things he had to say. He said it was a terrible dream. I looked in the closet. There was Donovan. <laughs> well, some of the people can be half right part of the time. All of the people can be part right some of the time. Half the people can be part right all of the time. But all of the people can't be all right all of the time. <laughs> T.S. Eliot said that. <laughs> I'll let you be in my dream if I can be in your dream. I said that. This is called, It's All Right, Ma, I'm Only Bleeding, Ho, Ho, Ho. Yeah.
Well cradled into the sun Though its glow is waxed in black Limes out, house lights and the queen. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> actually applause this kind of bullshit. <laughs> In the dime stores and bus stations People talk over situations Read books and repeat quotations Draw conclusions on the wall Some speak of the future My love, she speaks softly she knows there's no success like failure, and that failure's no success at all. The bridge at midnight trembles. The country doctor rambles Bankers nieces seek perfection Expecting all the gifts that wise men bring The wind howls like a hammer The night blows cold and rainy My love, she's like some raven At my window with a broken wing Go, driver, go. Go, driver. Oh, that was a good concert. Huh? That was a good concert. Beautiful. They were all there, man. All of them. God damn. The vanishing American. <laughs> yeah. God, I feel like I've been through some kind of uh, thing, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, but... No, but I mean, there's you know, something, something special about it. They've started calling you an anarchist. Ooh. <laughs> papers, that's the word now. Anarchist. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. kidding. Which papers did you Oh, two or three. Today, anarchist. yeah. Just because you don't offer any solution. I'm kidding. <laughs> Chris. Anarchist. Yeah. yeah. Give me a cigarette. Give the anarchist a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> anarchist. Oh. Singer such as I. Well, I was a little surprised to see it myself, but there you go. It probably took him a while, man, to think of that name. Anarch. No, they couldn't say communist. Well, didn't they say that yesterday? Uh, the communists aren't in this uh, Communists, uh, you know, oh. in England, communists really aren't, aren't you know. Oh, it's cool to be. Yeah. I don't think it's cool to be an anarchist, though. It's cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm sure. Whatever it's not, it's, I don't think it is. <laughs> it's all.